I'm making today's dish in honor of Tuscany, the beautiful central region of Italy. I call it Tuscan style cannellini soup. It's perfect for this time of year as winter is coming, it's getting cold and dark outside. This dish is rich, it's hearty, it's cheap, and it's healthy. If you've never been to Tuscany, I actually recommend checking out in November. Over the summer, millions and millions of tourists invade Florence and then they end up flooding the Tuscan hillside, which in my opinion really ruins the experience. We're on to the food preparation. Here I have a beautiful diversity of colors and vegetables. White onions, red onions, celery, parsley, carrots, leeks, garlic, thyme, cannellini beans, red beans, salt, tomatoes, olive oil, and wine. Now the beautiful thing about this dish is that it's cheap, it's healthy, it's all veggies, and it's really easy to make. So it's a win for your body, it's a win for the environment, it's a win for your wallet, and it's a win for your calendar. Now what I'm gonna do is chop this all up, throw it in a pot, and cook it on low heat for five to six hours. Now vegetables, just like us, are mostly water. So the longer you cook it, the more the water evaporates and it leaves behind concentrated, beautiful, bold, rich flavors. So a lot of people like to add water, but I don't like to do that because it really dilutes the flavor. So one other thing you can do is add chicken or beef stock. Now, what I have here, these are specially made Jarbo chicken stock ice cubes. So my roommate Jarbo, what he likes to do is he likes to collect chicken bones and carcasses and little pieces of animals, and he puts it under his bed and sleeps out of the night. I should say that's actually not true. He's not some kind of monster or troll. He's not Rudy Giuliani. Um, he just really likes chicken stock and we're all better off for it because these cubes pack a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna use this to liquefy the soup a little bit more. I always like to show a cheap, healthy vegetarian version of the dish that I'm making, just so I can show you the environmentally friendly way to make it. But at the end of the day, meat just adds so much flavor and it makes any dish better. So this is half a kilogram of pancetta that I got from Italy. So I'm gonna add this to our vegetarian dish and make it not so vegetarian. But again, you don't have to do this. You can just have the delicious vegetarian version. I just prefer a little pig. It's been cooking for about four hours now. I'm gonna let it go for another two. This dish is bold, it's diverse, and there's so many complex flavors. Okay, I'm super excited to try this. It's a little hot, so I'm gonna let it cool down. You may have noticed that I made a ton of soup, probably way, way, way too much. But there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, it's very easy to freeze and store. Number two, something like this will get better over time. Day three, four, five, six, the aromatics will continue to blend with each other, and each ingredient will continue to soak up its flavor. And I'll throw in another plug. If a person or a business or a restaurant makes too much food, there's no reason for that to go to waste. There's actually a business called Feed It Forward. They have an app. If you have excess food, you can donate it to them and they'll find the nearest homeless shelter to donate that to. So with Thanksgiving coming up, I hope that my Tuscan soup will find a table for some less fortunate family. And one more thing I forgot to mention, you absolutely positively have to grate fresh Parmesan on top of this. It is an absolute necessity. And I'll give this a try real quick for the camera. Mm. My assessment is, if you could taste diversity, this is what it would taste like. 